Hey, Jason back here again, and today we're going to be finishing up the uh, top half of the wheel rig, minus the roof. I'm just going to build some ladders here, and uh, hopefully we're going to continue working down to the uh, bottom, or uh, to the, uh, getting the rest of the wood at the bottom of the oil rig, but uh, who knows. Um... We're up to uh, five subscribers, so we're halfway to the uh, 10 subscriber celebration, but uh, five subscribers is a lot to me, and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a five subscriber special, episode 11. We're going to uh, bake a cake, and we're going to memorial a building to one of my subscribers. Uh, I'm going to randomly pick one subscriber, and uh, we're going to dedicate a building to him. They know who they are. I'm not going to put their first or last name. I'll just put their initials. Oh, there's a little bit of lag there. Um, I'm going to start heading down. Finish up uh, filling up. Which shouldn't be a lot. Just getting enough ladders to start spelunkering. And we're getting down to the point where I don't need to fill up any more... Um, of the uh, area with wood. Later on I hope to use uh, cobblestone and uh, stone brick because that looks the best. And uh, then we start digging down. My ultimate goal in this episode was to find some uh, coal, but uh, I don't think we strike any. And plus uh, a wooden pick is not the economical way to mine with a uh, mine coal with, or iron for that matter, just break it, and uh, the noise you're hearing in the background is because I'm on a Mac, uh, <laughs> if anybody has any tips for Mac, please I'm willing to listen because as much as I know how to do so much, I know how to do so little, so any help would be really appreciated, I know a lot of you are Windows users, so if you're a Mac user, I support you 100%, because, uh, this is the one way I can record it without getting lag in the highest uh, quality capable. So, I'm just going to keep on digging down until we run our ladders, and then we're going to start working on the top half, which should be within a minute. But, um, we're just going to keep uh, the ladders coming. I think we've hit rock bottom here. Nope, six more. Um, I feel like I've mentioned this in previous videos, but um, due to the fact that I have not put uh, village spawning on, that also means that when 1.9 comes out, there will be no nether. Not no nether, but no nether dungeons. So, uh, there will be no chance of me getting any nether brick. So, there are going to be a few things that I'm going to have to cheat spawn in. But, other than that, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, I think it might actually generate because the uh, nether randomly generates every time you go into it. So there might be a very slim chance that uh, there might be a dungeon and uh, flame beasts or flame blazers, whatever uh, they decide to call them, uh, showing up. But uh, I'm pretty happy for the uh, new pigs that are coming out. Or not pigs, the new item at the pig drop. Instead of bacon, they drop gold, which makes sense because pigs carry gold weapons. Which are nice to look at, but uh, they're yellow. They don't really resemble gold. And we're going to lay down a cobblestone base to the foundation of the house. Uh, cobblestone and wood look nice together. And what I say goes. <laughs> but I'm um, just going to lay that down and it's going to be a typically small thing. It's just going to be able to hold a chest, a furnace, and I don't think I want to put a bed in there. I think just a quite simple chest and furnace, and I'm not going to put two chests in there. Chest holds enough, and then uh, three windows and a door. And then trying to make it all symmetrical here. But, uh, 
shout out to all my uh, supporters. I um, I look at all my comments every day. It's uh, really nice to uh, have people who uh, care. Um, I don't know, but uh, if I get big by mine, I don't know, I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody, but uh, probably not going to happen. But uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Because uh, hopefully I might be going to Minecon, and uh, because I live in sunny Las Vegas. I'm uh, gonna just close my location though, but uh, wouldn't be that much of a drive for me. It's maybe, maybe 10 minutes. Do maybe traffic. But um, we're just gonna start building a uh, simple way to get up. I don't really like how this is built because it kind of makes it look uh, silly like that. But. Um, I think for right now it will serve its purpose, and I think that's like going to cut it for this episode. I think we're just going to finish this off, and then we're just going to uh, begin harvesting the tree farm. I think by the end of this episode we should have glass in the house. Just because of my previous encounters with uh, the resident population of Mr. Astley's here. And uh, they like to blow up my house, which is quite annoying when I have a limited source of wood and trees and the water I don't want to knock down because I like them. We're just getting ready to uh, put some ladders on the front of the building. We're going to gather some uh, sand. And the tree farm is starting to work good. Oh well. And uh, a door. I don't know if I want to put a door on it because it's only for me. But uh, I think I think a door would look nice for when I start building the really big rigs. I'm gonna put some iron doors on there just because uh, the creepers, the creepers and the skeletons. I have no respect for them. I only have enough cobblestone here to build a furnace. First furnace, and this is actually going to light up my house for once, which is nice. But I don't have any charcoal, so I'm wasting the resident wood population, which sucks. And we're going to uh, maybe harvest some wood, get my tree farm going, check for some skeletons. I think that's what we're going to be doing this episode, is just making some improvements. Um, leave in the comments for anybody who's watching this. If you want to see me continue building the oil rigs, or if you just want to have me cut it. If it's something really big and spectacular, I don't think I will, but if it's something that uh, you've seen before, like if I was to make another one of these rigs that I already that I showcased for the next episode in the past two I think we're going on now, then uh, you can either want me to cut through it or not. But uh, I, I think it's pretty tedious to watch, so for the most part, I think I'm going to cut it out. Just because I want these videos to be something fun to watch and not a uh, chore. And then uh, right here, we're just starting to clear out some space for the tree farm. I've decided to keep my tone down for a bit, just to keep it uh, a little bit quieter. I was checking the audio on some other videos, and it just sounded a little uh, odd, a little too uh, whiny. So I'm gonna keep my voice down for the next couple of episodes. So I like that. Starting episode 11, we're just gonna do some uh, commentary while we're doing it. Just wait it because, as I said before, I I feel better on the spot doing this kind of stuff. Nothing really much to talk about what I'm doing here, other than just mowing down some dirt without any tools, which sucks. And just doing some terraforming. This probably would have been a thing I would have cut out, but uh, we all learn from our experiences, so after episode 10, we're just gonna start cutting. There'll be a lot more featured, but. Uh, 
a lot less stuff unless it's something um, really important or special I want to see. Um, I found that the best tree farm formula after recording these 10 episodes is one every three spots, which makes for enough space for the trees to grow for the most part without the branches coming into the and uh, I think right where that water was flowing was where I uh, cut away some sand or mined away some sand but I've seen a cool recipe for a tree farm and a cactus farm but I don't really see use for a cactus farm so for the most part, I unless I really want a green dye, maybe for a, a green building, maybe for something to put on the uh, wall, or maybe to uh, signal with the subways, just as a thought. But uh, for the most part, I don't think I would have a use for a cactus spawn. Uh, they don't really make good mob traps because mobs don't really walk into them. But. Um, I'm going to start uh, wrapping it up here. I'm going to head back down to the house for the most part. The house is usually going to be my start and stop point. Uh, unless we're doing something to where I can't get back to it on time. Hopefully sheep begin to spawn again when 1.9 comes out. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I'm going to be working into the night all night and be the most productive. But uh, see you guys later.